Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders. Today we are here to discuss the question on uh, second problem of the recent context of code forces that was around at 6 -6. In this question, we will be given a string s and we will make a rectangle from that string. And like we just think that we have a string this, uh, like I am randomly writing a string this. So, what will be the rectangle that we will shift uh, one right shift in every row? So, what will be the next row that will be shift one right? This will be this zero will come in left side and this will be shifted in one right. So, this will be the next row then this will be the next row until this uh, how many columns will be there that will be equal to the length of this one so 3 3 3 7 into 7 size rectangle we will be get from this now what is our question that find out the maximum area of rectangle consisting of only ones so like you can see that uh, this is a rectangle that it is consisting of only ones so we want to find out the area of such a rectangle and that area should be as max as possible so what can be the possible answer for this that uh, like just think as if i am taking a simple example like this one okay so let me mark the make the rectangle that will be like this then this and then this okay okay so this is the rectangle which we will get from this the, what is the size of this that is seven so one two three four five six seven okay seven into seven rectangle we are getting so now find out the maximum uh, the area of the rectangle which is containing only ones there can be like uh, this type of rectangle area of this is four into one then then can be uh, this one this is three into two then there can be Okay, this one this is 2 into 3 then there can be uh, this one this is 4 into 1 uh, 1 into 4 so what are you getting that first of all this will be the uh, size of our rectangle now if you want to increase this if you want to increase the size of our column then we have to lose 1 1 if we want to increase the size of our column then we have to decrease our row why because you can see that we cannot contain this one if we want to increase the size of our rectangle with one so if the size of our rectangle the size column in our rectangle is two then the count of one is only three then if we want to increase this till three then we also have to decrease it till two so what is our point that first of all the size will be equal to count what is count that is the uh, conjugative ones so just think that count is the conjugative ones now uh, first of all this will be equal to this this can be the this area then if we want to make the uh, size of this rectangle uh, column of this rectangle, rectangle is equal to 2 then what we have to do this will be that and if we want to make it equal to 3 then we have to decrease 2 times this is the simple pattern that is following that so there is common term that is uh, this one so this can be an area and we want to maximize this for maximizing it there is a first condition that the count which you are getting what is that that is the conjugative ones conjugative ones so now that should be as max as possible so what first target is to find out the conjugative ones that is maximum so after that we want to make maximize this equation for that just think that the equation is just like this then uh, so so this equation that will be cx minus x square plus c minus x 
this is the auto fx then if you want to maximize this then there is a simple technique for that that uh, differentiate this that will be c minus 2x uh, minus plus 0 minus 1 then make differentiate equal to 0 so that will be c minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 then value of x will be c minus 1 by 2 so uh, whatever count you are getting uh, find the value of x that will be count minus 1 by 2 and uh, insert that value in this equation that will be your final answer so first of all calculate the uh, maximum conjugative ones then uh, r equal to count minus 1 what is count that is maximum conjugative ones then our answer will be uh, this count minus r into r plus 1 so if you see the solution so okay so this is the solution that uh, first of all i'm calculating that uh, what is the maximum conjugative ones for that uh, there is a condition that uh, just think like this one in this condition what is the maximum conjugative ones that is these four as well as these four why because if you write shift this one so in a condition you will get something like this one so you have to also uh, consider this part that uh, the count of starting ones plus count of ending ones that also can be the maximum conjugative ones for that I am calculating the s and e so if leg is initially one so that is a simple technique you also can see that how i am calculating the uh, maximum count here i am getting the maximum count of ones h mx then i am checking that uh, if leg is equal to equal to one what is like that uh, initially that is one anywhere if i am getting str is not equal to one that means if str anywhere contains zero then our flag will be zero but what if that is not equal to zero what I want to say that if there is such a type of condition, then that doesn't contain any zero. So in that condition, your flag will be equal to one because that is not getting in this side. So if flag is equal to one, then you can see that this will be this type of rectangle, and size of uh, that will be unequal to n. So in that condition, you are printing n into one, and in another condition, you are calculating the mx minus one by two. And uh, this is R, Mx minus R into R plus 1. And we are printing that one. So that was the solution for this problem. You will get the code in the description. So in the next problem, till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.